I'll tell you what, I, I think I'm so afraid of relationships that whether it was going to be a romantic relationship or just a friend, guy, girl, whatever, I would not let people in except at arm's length. I didn't want to let people in all the way because I was so afraid that I would not be accepted, all of me. And that means depression and all. you got to take the whole thing. So I isolated myself, and I stopped even trying to date altogether, got completely out of the game. Until one period of time, I had a very short period of history, a, a little short period of time when I was feeling really good. It was about 15 days in a row. Now, i got to tell you all, I had not ever remembered just feeling good 15 days in a row over 20 years without either having to see a doctor or being back down that dark corridor that we all know. So my confidence came back, and I tried stepping back into the dating scene. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That's cute. I'll tell you what, though. I was very paranoid when I got back into this game. I would ask a woman to sign a prenup to go out for a latte. <laughs> You know, I actually thought, i got to take this slow. My friend wanted to go to a club, and I said, I'm not ready to go back out and be social like that. So I, I tried the singles ads. And this was way before I got my Match.com legs. So I'm talking old school. I'm talking the newspaper. I figured it's got to be easier to meet somebody if I can just read about it in the paper. It's got to be easier. Or so I thought until I read the very first one. SWF. <laughs> Seeking SWM. <laughs> Who's not into SM, has never been to AA, never been in trouble with the FBI, CHP, or IRS, has no outstanding IAUs, doesn't mind PMS, and has perfect DNA. <laughs> I felt SOL. 